Everybody worshiping the God of this gods of this world. Gods of this world are gonna pass away all their time and affection and money and energy is spent in worshiping men in tights and not worshiping the God that gave them the sunshine, God that gives them breath in their lungs and sustains their heart and beating in their chest. This is what man does. We we worship the creation instead of worshiping the creator. You know, nobody wants a a God that tests them and tries them with fire through his word, perfects them. They want the easy road. And the gods that they serve just make them poor. They actually think they're rich in spirit, but they're poor in spirit. Worshiping the Red Sox and everything else. Modern day idolatry. Modern day idolatry at its finest. Worship of man and flesh. What's it like in the tunnel? Is it better? The Bible says, Love not the world or the things of the world, for the love of the Father that you claim is in you is not in you. The Bible says, Anybody who's in Christ has crucified their lusts with their passions and affections. We can see the passion of people here, and it's not for Jesus. It's for men in tights. They lift up and glorify men. That's why their, their bodies, which are meant to glorify God, are given over to the flesh. I used to be like this, and that's why we bring the message of truth to these people. They got meat hooks of New York Giants and the Patriots in their heart. So all their bodies are temples to glorify men and not give glory to God who gave them the life that they have. They have no idea who's going to go and preach to them, who's going to call them to repentance, who's going to tell them that it's a narrow road, not a long road. It's all about fun and games until Jesus comes back. People don't see. And their eyes are blind. They're blinded by the God of this world and all the other gods. Chanting to their gods. The giants can't save them when they die. The colts can't save them when they die. The patriots can't save them when they die. Their money can't save them when they die. They just keep worshiping man. Drinking their bud heavy. Bud makes you heavy. Bud wiser doesn't make you wiser. It makes you stupider. It makes you dumber. Where are you giving up your life to Jesus, Christian? If you say you love Jesus, why aren't you giving God your whole heart? Why aren't you calling these people to repentance? That you set their affections on the things of above, not the things below. Look at this idolatry. Imagine these people gave their whole hearts to God. Stopped worshiping Tom Brady and Eli Manning. Imagine these people gave all their heart to God like the first commandment asked them to. If you, if you have time to sit down and watch this stuff, Christian, you say you love Jesus and you have time to sit down take a little bit of worship of man for yourself, you haven't given your whole heart to God. You need to check yourself. You need to pray. Maybe you don't think we're right. Maybe you think we're wrong. We're legalistic. I tell you, we lay down our life in love because we know the narrow road. We know that without holiness, no man shall see God. Your morality will not be enough to get you into eternity. Satan's matrix is all around these people. Worshipping the flesh, worshipping man, not worshipping God. Change your mind, people. Look at what you're living for today. Here's an example of an apostate Christian church. You know, I know they're trying to get the word of God into people. Trying to get the word of God into people. But here I want to see, show you why this is compromised. Because nobody's calling out sin. Nobody's discerning. 
what's really going on out here. There should be people preaching the gospel, calling this what the, all this stuff idolatry, which is exactly what it is. Idolatry is when you give your affections and your worship to something else other than God. See? All this stuff, the fun and games. The Bible says in the last days that people will be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. They'll listen to these types of teachers because they don't have a hard message, a narrow road message, a cross-carrying message. See, there's an example of real brothers and sisters calling out idolatry, showing people what it really means to follow Jesus. Oh, change your mind, people. Look at your life. Look at your life. If the righteous are scarcely saved, where the ungodly and sinners appear. Bless you, brothers, man. Amen. Better believe it. It's called Judgment Day. Amen. That's going to be your Super Bowl. See, they worship man and flesh, but they won't worship God. How amazing would the world be if we gave our whole heart to God? All these people, throngs of people, change your mind. Wherever you are, and read the cost of the gospel. You take up your cross or you can't be Jesus' disciple. Idolatry continues downtown. Everywhere you look, people living in sin, drunkenness, there's sexual morality going on in these rooms, women being treated like dirt. Idolatry, adultery, all manner of fornication, Acts 15, Acts 21. Supposed to abstain from pollutions of idols and sexual immorality, fornication, all forms. But you can see this is it. This is how Satan's matrix all around you. It's constantly getting you to live for yourself. Live only for you. Satan gives you the earthly paradise. People can't people can't even hear God because the music's so loud. Too much distraction going on in life. It's all about sensual things, seductive things, sensuality. Worshiping men with a pigskin running down a field in tights. This is this is the life of people. This is the heart of man. They don't realize that there's a whole eternal life coming. They don't realize that God is calling them to repentance. Where are the people of God lifting up their hands, hazarding themselves for the gospel, talking to those and disputing with those who oppose their own self? They don't even see what they're doing. God, I pray your spirit we poured out. God needs to judge us. We're so far gone, people don't even know how to turn to God anymore. They need to be spanked in God's love with truth. We need wickedness. We need, we need, we need evil men to come and afflict this nation by the hand of God. This place is forsaken God. There's another idolatry and abomination of God. Hooters treating women like pieces of meat. They con women into believing that they're going to be somebody by using their body to glorify, glorify their body and flesh instead of glorifying God. Fun and games. Satan's deception. Change your mind, people. Be baptized in Jesus' character. Not in the characters of all the names you see plastered on these human bodies. People are billboards for the world and things that will pass away. Trivial pursuits. Crosses and everything else people wear. Blood doesn't make you wiser, it makes you dumber. Blood stupider, blood dumber. Blood does not make you light, it makes you heavy. Ask yourself, do you have these in your heart? Are you worshiping the things of man and not the things of God? Don't you see these people are becoming slaves 
They're already slaves and they're becoming more and more slaves to the new world order. And one day they're going to get rid of the people who oppose them. You know? They're being sold and being slaves to the world. Sold to the things of the world and not to God. Jesus bought them with a price and they reject the, 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 the sacrifice. The only mercy is in Christ Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Look at these tombs. <laughs> Check your heart. The Bible says, 1 John 5, 21, My dear children, my dear children, do not allow, do not worship idols or anything that would give or take God's place in your heart. Worship a man in flesh. That's somebody's God right there that'll never save them. There's the other one. These people will be weeping and mourning and gnashing their teeth when they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Who's going to go and tell them if they don't have a preacher? How can their faith rise up and no one preaches the word of God to them, the rhema to them? that they need to hear that the Bible says, with faith without hearing. Faith faith comes from hearing and hearing the Word of God. Oh, look at look at the, the giants. The giants right there. They're going to be midgets when they stand before Jesus. The patriots, well, they should have been patriotic to the Lord, not to worshiping men in tights. Love you, Facebook and YouTube. Think about your life. You got one life to live. Be a superhero for the kingdom of God, not for the glory of man and flesh.